Hey, how you doing? It is Doug Branson with uh, Renee the Renegade. That's me. I can't believe I didn't catch that on your name before. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? It was very clever. Way too clever for me. <laughs> I'm still embarrassed by that. I love names like that, too, that say something and I completely <laughs> ran over my head. Anyway, the Renegade is here with us. Uh, we, we have another cool movie coming up. Uh, one of my favorites, it's an early one from the Coen Brothers, Raising Arizona. Yes. It's uh, Friday, November 6th at Alamo Draft House. Renee is hosting this one again. Yes, and it's at 7 p.m. 7 o'clock. And there was a time when Nick Cage, Nicholas Cage, was not this uh, bad, dorky kind of action hero. There was a time when he was kind of hip and cool and funny. Yeah, and I did a lot of uh, this more is one underground of stuff, yeah. This is a classic. If you've not seen this, it is... How would you describe it? Uh, it is uh, in the tradition of a lot of Coen Brother movies in that it's like a caper. Yes, that's. I was thinking the word caper. Yes. And if we, I didn't know if we use that anymore. A caper. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad you did it, not yeah. me. A caper, yeah. Now, Coen Brothers, of course, I have an affinity for them because they made the movie Fargo, yes. where I'm from, and they they all talk like I do, too. So, you know, <laughs> I really like the Coen Brothers stuff because we don't talk like that there, but, you know, they made that movie. So they uh, this is really one of their earliest movies, and uh, again, like most Coen Brothers movies, it's nothing goes right, does it? No, everything falls apart. <laughs> Best laid plans. Or... Be yes, indeed. Best laid plans. <laughs> now, if I remember right, I don't want to give too much of the movie away. Um, Arizona was the little baby, right? Yes. Um, Arizona was the last name of the parents. And so uh, that, he's junior. Junior, And he's yes. uh, one of four. Uh, is that a quad? Which? How many is four? Quad. Tuplets. Yeah, that's right. Quad. 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 <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Blink quad out. tuplets. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, you know, the Nicolas Cage character, H.I., uh, and his wife, um, who's, uh, was in her, her womb a rocky place with, with no purchase? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Holly Hunter, yeah. who's great in this too, by the way. Yeah, she's absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah, and I love the Coen Brothers for the language. They would use caper. Yeah, oh, certainly, <laughs> that would so, totally be them. Um, you know, they're 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 kind of classic Hollywood in a way, but they've got, they're just twisted dudes. Yes. You know, yeah. if you've ever been to Minneapolis, you'd understand because it's cold and there's not a lot to do, and your your imagination gets away from you, which is kind of what happens in a lot of their movies. Um, but it is a classic, and it's it's early Nicolas Cage and early Coen Brothers, which is why it's... This is another one stood the test of time. I mean, you could literally... There's a few fashion things in there, but otherwise, I mean, you could put this on now. It could have come out a year ago. It's it's really stood the test. Yeah, it's it's very funny. It's very clever. Um, you know, there's a lot of movies where a couple goes on a crime spree, yeah. so to speak. Um, that's all over the place. This one um, is very charming, very funny, uh, very creative, mm -hmm. clever. It's a little dark, but not as dark as some of their stuff. Yes. This is, <laughs> I, this is more comedy than, than, you know, like Fargo, mm -hmm. which was accidentally funny at times but very dark at yes. times too is just downright disturbing this this is much more playful uh i believe when it came out i think it's i think it's rated r but it, pg-13 it is pg-13 mm -hmm. okay they did have the pg-13 rating then okay yeah Couldn't and remember. so nowadays that's like pg and a half <sighs> that's g i think at this point. <laughs> I think we've pretty much blurred those lines. I think there is maybe some violence. I don't there really was, remember. Yeah, again, like any caper, there's yeah. some car chases and uh, you know some some gunfire involved. But uh, again, just a just a great cast and great writing and a great movie. And you'll hardly recognize Nicolas Cage. He's just his hair. Weird. Yeah, <laughs> he's just very uh, off the wall, which was I loved. But I loved his earlier work before yes. he became the 
you know, the action the hero. Caricature of himself. Yes, that's a good point. He, you know, he really is. Did you know he was supposed to be Superman? Yes, he was. And that's <laughs> not a joke. No. There's even, I believe there's photo, I don't know if somebody photoshopped that, but I believe I saw a photo once and it was all wrong. That is real. He had long hair. Yes. He had a skin tight rubber blue suit and there is a documentary about that. I can't remember what the name of it is but it's a great <sighs> documentary. You know that just I, I I think that would have been very wrong. Yes. In so many ways. Yeah he, he has become kind of character of himself but again this is a classic and if you love the Coen brothers uh, this this will be right up your alley. So again Raising Arizona. It's on a Friday night I do want to mention that this is a quote along. Um, so oh. there will, yeah, <laughs> a quote along. A quote along, yeah. So what what will happen is during the more um, iconic lines, they will put the words up on the screen like karaoke. Yeah, so we'll all say it together. <laughs> is this something new again? I'm not aware of a quote along. Um, Alamo Draft House has been doing them. Um, I've I've hosted quite a few. Um, it's also <laughs> a, you also get props. Wow. To use during the movie. Um, they, it's kind of a Rocky Horror Picture Show. That kind of, I don't know if they got the idea from there, but it's a little... Yes, Alamo has definitely taken that Rocky Horror model yeah. and made it, um, it, applied it to a lot of movies, and it's a lot of fun. The last one I did was Better Off Dead. <laughs> Another um, classic. Which, yeah, you know, I did not know Lubbock loved that movie but i that was sold out in the big theater wow over a hundred people came to better off dead nice uh, Very so nice. i so i'm hoping for the same kind of response uh for uh, raising arizona it certainly deserves it i think it does it certainly does it's in that you know for whatever reason i kind of put it in the like the big lebowski kind of category of just kind of Yep. oddball humor um you either you love it or you maybe don't quite get it but uh but it's yeah i think it's still enjoyable i, I think i think this one is yeah. yeah i mean there's big lebowski freaks oh yeah Coen brother movie yeah. and yeah. um you know and and then there's people who found it amusing and funny yeah but you cannot deny the dude the dude the vibes oh the dude credence <laughs> you yes. know credence I'm... tapes man <laughs> Are you going to go see the new Coen Brothers movie when it comes out? Which one is that? No. That, it's, uh, uh, in February. It's called Hail Caesar. Yes. I did see that. I saw stories on it. Yes. I, Hail I, Caesar. It, it, and then, you know, another caper movie. Oh, yeah. Another movie about a kidnapping. Um, I'm only disappointed because I don't think John Goodman's in it. Um, oh. But it, it looks fantastic. Is it's Steve really Buscemi funny. in it? That's... Uh, no, okay. wait, maybe. He probably makes an appearance somewhere. I probably. think he's got a contract. A, yeah. He has to be in every one of them somewhere. Yes. Just lurking in the background with <laughs> the crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, again, they, they put out great movies. And again, this is this is really kind of back where it started in the, their first few movies. I think Blood Simple mm -hmm. was before this one, uh, if I remember right. I should look at my list it was okay i'm getting yeah. nods that's good <laughs> that's good uh but this was certainly toward the beginning and probably their first major hit i think i think back then it, yeah it wasn't uh, um a blockbuster not hit, a blockbuster so but it was but, yeah definitely got that people knew status. about it yeah. exactly yeah so again uh go out and see it on the big theater quote along which sounds like a blast. Yes, they they're always fun. That'd be too funny. Yeah, to quote along. So uh, yeah, when the when the key uh, phrases come up, you get to yell it out. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> they actually promote doing that. I've been some idiots who do it at yeah, movies when they're not supposed things. to. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So again, that's uh, Alamo Draft House. Friday, November 6th at 7 p.m. Renee, thank you so much. Talk thank to you, you later. Yeah, bye. Bye.